Hello, everyone. My name is Xu Huanhuan. I'm a graduate student at Suzhou University. The title of the paper I will present is "Computation Offloading for Multi-User Sequential Tasks in Heterogeneous Mobile Edge Computing." The authors of this paper is me, Zhou Jingya, and Gu Fei. Let's start with a brief introduction to mobile edge computing. As shown in the picture, mobile edge computing uses some edge servers to serve mobile devices, such as user computers and、uh, IoT devices. Mobile edge computing has following characteristics: it's close to mobile devices. And the low bandwidth and fast response are also its advantages. However, there exist some problems we can ignore, such as the mobile devices are far from data center, the complex edge environments, and the safety of the mobile devices cannot be guaranteed. Next. I will introduce an example of the computation of loading in the mobile edge computing. For instance, the picture shows that Google project glasses with AI technology, including the following function modules: failure capture, failure passing, target recognition, content mapping, failure synthesis. And real-time display. Among them, failure passing and content mapping require massive computational resources, and offloading them to edge servers can efficiently reduce the processing delay of the overall application. In this part, we introduce the research categories of computation offloading. We can broadly classify these studies into the following categories. The first category is the offloading architecture, which is divided into offloading task to the cloud center, offloading task to the edge network, and both of them. The second category is from the Perspective of type of offloading storage, which can be divided into local execution, full offloading, and partial offloading. Another category is performance index. It can be classified into energy efficiency, application delay, and the security of mobile devices, and so on. However, there are some problems that still remain unsolved. A few of them are as follows: the heterogeneity problem in the mobile edge computing usually refers to that when the computing tasks are offloaded to multi-edge servers, it leads to great uncertainty about the delay of executing the task, which will seriously affect the efficiency of task execution. Multi-user Scenario has different user requirements, heterogeneous tasks, and resource competition. Especially, the competition between mobile devices leads to low wireless rate in the network and long queuing time on edge servers. In addition, many mobile applications are not independent tasks. But consists of sequential dependent tasks. Only after completing the previous task can the later ones be be performed. It will obviously affect the efficiency of the application execution. In our scenario, the goal of the computation of loading is to minimize the average delay. Of the applications by uploading different sequential tasks from mobile devices to edge servers. 
Now we introduce our course model where the process of each task consists of three parts communication, queuing and execution. Firstly, considering different communication process, the transmission time of a task can be divided into different cases. The task of loaded decision is different from its peripheral task or the same as it is routed from the sequential task structure. Secondly, the task potentially cannot be executed immediately when it arrives at uh, each server. It needs to wait until the current server finishes its task in the queue line. Each edge server handles the task on it as a MG1 queue by utilizing queuing theory. We can obtain that the expect queue time. It shows the results competition of multi devices. Thirdly, to illustrate the delay caused by execution on edge servers, we define the execution time of the task on the edge server. It is related to the heterogeneous edge servers. Then we give the formal formulation of our problem. Since the goal is to minimize the average application delay in the system while satisfying the delay limit of each application at the load requirement of each service, the problem can be formulated as shown. Well, C1 indicates that there's a limit to the numbers of tasks that each each server can accept. C2 represents that the floating decision is an uh, integer variable and C3 indicates that the completion time of application cannot exceed its deadline. From the formulation, we find that when every application does not exceed its the deadline, the problem is set of several standard GAP problems. Therefore, the problem we started is unpaired and cannot obtain a specific solution. To reformulate the problem in the form of ordinary list squares, the floating decisions must take binary values. Nevertheless, the floating decisions may not be integer vectors under matrix operations. Therefore, we first relax the floating decisions. We replace the floating decision variable to the one hot type. It can also represent the inherent attributes of a floating stage. Similarly, to remove the constraints in the formulation, we use the penalty functions to replace them. We further rewrite the objective function and add the formulation limits of C3 application delay and C4 edge server load. Certainly, after getting the form of the relaxed problem with no constraints, we use a regular expression method to solve the problem according to its properties. This problem is a function of mapping some vector variables to a number. By mapping a floating stretch to cost, the first order partial derivatives of cost concerning a floating stretch can be obtained. After using normalization, we can finally obtain our approximate optimal floating stretch. Finally, we afloat task according to the floating stretch.
to all tasks are floated. The detailed processes can be seen in the following algorithm. In this part, we propose the remast algorithm to obtain the approximate optimal uploading stage of the mobile applications and the minimum average application delay. Firstly, we give a random stage for the task of mobile device. Then, next, for the current task, we calculate the execution and queuing delay of it. Then we have to calculate the communication delay of the task according to that if its uploading decision is different as its parallel task. After that, we can compute the cost vector of the application and calculate the approximate optimal uploading stage based on it. Finally, we can obtain the overall uploading stage of mobile devices and the minimum average application delay. Next is the experimental part. We set up several parameters as shown, such as the number of mobile devices participate in the system and the number of sequential tasks of each mobile applications and uh, the data size of the t each task and so on. In addition, we can start two comparison algorithms in the experiments. The first one is Render Uploading Scheme. It's randomly uploading tasks to the edge servers. It's a best line algorithm. And the second one is greedy uploading with load balance algorithm. It always assigns tasks to the edge server with the lowest workload. Then, let's take a look at the first group of experiments. The picture denotes the average application delay of all task uploading algorithms when the number of MOA devices and edge servers change. The left one shows that all algorithms have a sustained increasing trend along with the growth of mobile devices. Among them, we must always achieve the lowest average latency. We notice that we must queue time is longer than globe when the number of mobile devices come to 100. It's because globe tend to upload tasks to edge servers with low workloads, which leads to high transmission delay. Where we must take both data transmission and uh, task queuing into account. Although we must have a long queuing process, its transmission delay is, signif is significantly lower than other algorithms. The right picture illustrates that the average delays of all algorithms decreased as edge servers increase. We found that the average delay falls slowly when the number of edge servers exceed 12. Then the queue time decreases significantly. Compared to other algorithms, the advantage of remust is mainly reflected in the reduction of data transmission delay. Thus, we must achieve the lowest overall delay compared with other algorithms. Finally, we evaluate the impact on the completion rate of applications. Well, completion rate refers to the property of complete applications within their deadlines. 
uh, picture illustrates that all algorithms perform worse while the number of mobile devices is larger. Among them, only Remust has a nearly 100 completion rate when the number of mobile devices is 60. Now we conclude with a summary. In this paper, we study the computation of loading problem of multi-user sequential tasks in heterogeneous mobile edge computing environments. Our goal is to minimize the average delay of applications on mobile devices. In the future, we will further consider the following problem of long-term sequential tasks of loading or non-linear sequential task of loading. That's all. Thank you.